Howdy folks, Kerbo here with some more cattle and crops. How to? Because if you were a long time player such as myself, all this changed with scenarios and profiles and whatnot with the release. And at least to me, it was a little bit confusing. Maybe I'm just thick in the head, I don't know. But I've seen other people uh, on the Steam discussions wondering what the heck's going on. So let's take a look at profiles and save games and how that ties in with tutorial certificates and scenarios. So I have an active profile, Kerbo Test. You want to change profiles. Just click, don't click load, that'll load into the game. Just click somewhere on it and that will s switch. Now you'll notice here under Kerbo Tutorials profile, I have two save games. So that's important. You're, uh, you really only need one profile. I didn't, uh, I was doing it the old way. So I have both a sandbox save game and a career save game under my Kerbo Tutorials profile. So I'm going to select career. And then if I close this, it updates up here. I've completed 26 out of 51 tutorials, six out of 10 certificates, and two out of the five scenarios. So that's important for career. For sandbox mode, None of this matters. You just go in, everything's unlocked, you play. For career mode, you start out very limited. You can only have five um, pieces of machinery or implements, tractors, whatever you want to call them. You're limited to five pieces of equipment. Uh, you can't hire any employees and you can't buy any cattle. So to unlock stuff, you need to proceed through tutorials and get certificates. So if we click here, we see tutorials, certificates, and scenarios. So a lot of the stuff in the career mode is locked behind these scenarios. And it will tell you that in game. Like if you go to buy a tractor, it may say this is, you can't buy or rent this vehicle until such and such. So that will be here under either scenarios or certificates. But one of the first things I did was this from seed to harvest scenario. And that is comprised of three different tutorial series. So if we go look at basics, I don't know how to go back other than closing that and going here. Look back over to here. So that is a certificate, but it's part of the tutorial. It's, it's confusing. That's why I'm making this video. <laughs> so if you do these three tutorials, you get the basics certificate. I'm pretty sure that's how that works but I, I could be wrong there. But now to unlock stuff, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna open up my career here. So you can load it from here. You can also load it from profiles and save games. So if I wanna load up my career, I can just hit load. And I have an AI that's doing stuff on the field. And they're a little bit lost, it looks like. Well, I'll have to fix that later. They didn't take back off where they left off. It looks like they're driving over to the beginning of the field. But anyway, that's not important. What we want to look at is under vehicles. So if I go to, say, tractors, I want to buy the big tractor, the 940. You can see here the requirements. I can't actually buy this tractor. Purchasing or renting this vehicle require the completion of the scenario, Cobb Cruncher. So you'll run into things like that. Uh, when I first started, I was going to buy a fertilizer spreader. Nope. Purchasing and renting this requires winter is coming. So if we go back to the main menu, you can see under these scenarios, I need cob cruncher for the big tractor. I need winter is coming for the fertilizer spreader. And I've been working towards this one. I just last night finished the uh, grow and big. So now I need to get winter is coming and you can see I've got a couple of requirements here that aren't met yet. Fertilizing and then growing big. I thought I completed this. It says I've got all the requirements. Oh, I did the requirements, but I haven't actually done the right. Sorry. It's confusing. Maybe I'm just dumb, but this seems really confusing. So I need to complete this. Uh, if I click here, it should take me over here to the tutorials. So I need the fertilizing. I think that's a certificate. 
But maybe all these count as certificates. I'm not sure because it says 40. But I need, to, I need to complete these four tutorials to get the fertilizing certificate. And then I'll be able to come back to the scenario and I'll be able to do this and then do winter is coming and then those will be unlocked. And then all I have left is to do the cob cruncher. And I'll, once I've completed these, that's the uh, scenario requirements for cob cruncher. Clear as mud. Yeah, it was a little bit confusing. The main, the main big change is everything is tied to your profile now. You, you can have multiple save games under a profile. And this stuff, tutorial certificates and scenarios, are tied to your profile. So if I load up my sandbox profile that I had, if I just click here and activate it, just click somewhere until it turns yellow. You can see here I haven't done any of these. So it's sandbox, so it doesn't matter, but... But I had done, I think it was here. Somewhere I had another career started, but I had done some tutorials and that's when I realized it's tied to the profile. So I hope that helps. It's a little bit convoluted, but I thought I'd make a quick video on how that's all tied together. Good luck, happy farming.